All right, guys, welcome back. You know exactly where I'm at. I'm out here at the sawmill, and I'm here for a reason. Well, because I like being here. I'm also out here because I got some lumber to cut. I got projects coming down the pipe that I'm going to share with you guys, but they're obviously not going to get done until I get some lumber cut. So that's what we're up against today. If you guys have a look behind you, we have some logs ready to go. And lucky for me, the weather is sort of taking a turn for the better. So the snow is starting to melt. If you would have seen one of my most recent videos, you would have seen stuff like this happening. You guys see the snow on the back of that roof there? See it curling off? Well, we lost the entire snow load up there on the top of the roof in one go. And well, I was filming, so hopefully you guys had a chance to see that video. As I mentioned, with the temperature getting warmer out here, it makes it a little more comfortable for me out here cutting wood. I'm out here for a reason, and as I mentioned, it's because I like being here. And many of you guys probably like being out here in a similar setup, just like I do. However, one thing to keep in mind here, this is a lot of work. This is not a uh, cakewalk by any means. And with that, you have to be prepared for it. Now, I'm very fortunate. I get to talk to many of you guys down in the comments section, and you tell me all about your good and bad experiences about owning a portable sawmill. Now, some of you guys don't own a portable sawmill and you have no intentions of doing so, and you have reasons for that. And many of you guys share that with me, which is completely fine. Now, here's the real reason why I cut lumber and the real reason why I will continue cutting lumber. It has been about three years since I've owned this thing, and I have put a lot of boards through that thing and ultimately created a whole bunch of piles like the one you see behind me and a whole bunch of structures like, well, this one and that one and all kinds of other stuff. The reason I'm going to continue cutting lumber is not necessarily for that pile of lumber. It's not necessarily because I think I'm going to be saving money compared to buying it at the lumber yard. It's because I enjoy the entire process. If you guys think about the entire process, there is a heck of a lot of work that goes into getting a log onto those bunks up here onto the sawmill and into a pile of lumber like you see right there. That whole process is what I really enjoy. I like getting up on a Saturday morning, firing up the chainsaw, the tractor, whatever else, having a fresh cup of sludge and heading out to the woods. I enjoy getting out to the woods, looking around for critters, harvesting trees selectively, and skidding all those logs over here. That whole process takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time, it takes maintenance, it takes fuel, it takes equipment. I like all that stuff. If you don't like all that stuff, and well, that's going to ultimately be a chore for you, you should probably reconsider your idea of owning a sawmill. You have to get the logs here first and foremost. How you're going to do that? Well, that's up to you. For me, that whole process is part of the game. That's something I really like. Now, those of you who don't cut logs for lumber, you may say to yourself, ah, I got all kinds of other hobbies. That is where I go and put my effort into. Well, that's just like me. The difference is you go play golf to get exercise. I come out here to get exercise. You go boating to get fresh air or hiking or camping or whatever to get fresh air. I come out here to get fresh air. That's one of the differences here, although it's somewhat similar. We're both doing the same thing. We're out there getting exercise. We're out there enjoying the outdoors. And that's quite frankly, one of the reasons why I'm standing here under my sawmill shed. Many of you guys are probably listening right now and you're probably saying to yourself, I still have no idea why this guy's out here making lumber and making dust and piling up logs and trudging through three feet of snow and getting machines stuck and having them break down and all that sort of stuff just to make, well, just to make a little pile of lumber like that. And I can't really connect with you because you just don't understand. That whole process is what's genuinely enjoyable about this. If I look at my portable sawmill for what it is, being portable and, well, involving some work and involving some time and not valuing my time at like 100 bucks an hour, then yes, I'm coming out ahead. I'm making some lumber that I didn't have to go to the store and buy. That in itself is valuable to me. And one of the reasons why I am still out here after several years cutting logs into beautiful piles of lumber like that. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna stop talking here. I'm gonna get back to it. As you can see over my left shoulder here, I have a good pile of logs and on my right shoulder, I've got a relatively small pile of lumber. I've got some projects coming down the pipe for the spring and into the summer. And that pile of lumber is definitely not gonna build those things. So I'm gonna do what I do best. I'm gonna stick out here with my sludge and I'm gonna cut some logs into some lumber. Glad you guys are all here and let's go.
Well, guys, if we have a little look-see here, you can see I've added some lumber to the stack, and this is not going to be nearly enough for the projects I got swirling around in my head, but this is a start. When I'm out here at my sawmill, as you guys know, I like to enjoy myself, I like to relax, I like to make some dust, and I like to cut some lumber. Today, I definitely didn't, uh, well, I didn't cut a huge amount, but I cut some, and that's the name of the game. You guys can see the boardwalk behind me, that's turned out to be pretty good. Uh, I am probably going to make a few changes here as spring is approaching. And if we look over my left shoulder there, the sun is definitely staying out longer. Temperature's getting warmer, and so that is an indicator that spring is certainly coming. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, come back next time. Hopefully, it'll be more to your liking. If you're brand new here, welcome aboard. If you're not brand new here, welcome back. And everyone, I'll see you next time.